Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Living in Canada. I hope all of you are doing great. Summer is now definitely over. We had our last couple of warmer days around 20 degrees Celsius a few weeks ago but now it's getting colder and colder and yes winter is coming very soon. For those of you who are already in Canada you might have noticed that it's gotten colder and maybe you've also noticed that your skin has become dry and that's the topic of today's video today I want to give you some tips on how you can avoid getting really dry skin in the winter and yes today I'm going to talk about skincare products so this is going to be a totally different video from the ones that I usually do and I'm going to give you some of my recommendations for the skincare products that I personally love to use in the winter this is going to be my fourth winter here in Canada and up until now during each of those winters I have been using most of these skincare products but first of all let us talk about how you get that dry skin in the first place one of the big culprits is definitely the heater in your room in your apartment and if you've just recently arrived here in Canada and you're not that used yet to the cold temperatures then you might be very tempted to crank up that heater so it becomes really hot and toasty inside but unfortunately that's not always a very good idea for several reasons. One of the reasons is that if the heating cost is not yet included in your monthly rent then that will increase your utility bills. But back to the topic of dry skin, if the heater is constantly on in the in your apartment or your workplace where you're sitting all day then it can really make your skin dry and that's a very very uncomfortable feeling and especially if you have sensitive skin then you can feel that it can get itchy and plus if you're used to taking hot showers which I personally love that just aggravates having dry skin. Before I go and give you my recommendations on my favorite skin products for the winter let's just briefly talk about some tips about how to best use the heater in the winter time but first of all this is assuming that you have any control over your heater or heating system at all because in some buildings the heating is controlled centrally and there's just nothing that you can do about it except for opening the windows and yes that would be my first tip in the winter make sure that you regularly open your windows so that you can still get in some fresh air even though it's cold outside so my tip for using the heater is if you have control over your heater and you're able to switch it on and off and regulate the temperature is to never put it on full heat never put it on too high heat because it will make your skin very dry but your question might be what if i freeze what should i do about it what you can do is you can tr switch the heater on and off depending on um, how cold you feel during the day. So what I like to do, for example, is that um, usually sometime during the day, midday or early afternoon, if I do get cold, I switch on the heater for a bit, maybe for half an hour, and then I just turn it off again. And then maybe at night again, if I feel a bit cold while watching TV, uh, I'll switch it on for a bit, turn it off. So my general advice would be that instead Instead of relying on the heater to keep your body warm, get some uh, suitable clothing that you can layer so that that can keep you warm instead. So now let's go on to the dry skin and the dry skincare products. So if there's no way around it and you have to have your heater on during some times during the day and your skin gets really dry, what can you do about it? How can you take care of your skin so it doesn't crack and it doesn't itch? and so on. So what you need to have in the winter, more important than in the summer even, is that you have to have appropriate moisturizers for your face and for your body. And in a minute I'm going to give you my recommendations of the skincare products that uh, both girls and guys can use. This is really important for me because um, I and my husband, we share a lot of basic skincare products and it saves a lot of money and makes everything less complicated. Okay, now let's get right into it. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by any 
product so these are really my personal recommendations things that I personally love using in the winter so this is my first must-have product this is from the brand Avino and you might be familiar with it um, I don't buy all my skincare products from Avino but specifically this one and the other one that I'll share with you after this I think are very very good and like I said I've been using this for the last three years during um, the winters and basically when it gets cold and dry so the exact name of this product is Avino skin relief moisturizing lotion relieves itchy extra dry skin for 24 hours so it is a really really thick lotion and that is why I only use it in the winter and not in the summer. What I really like about this product that it doesn't have any parabens and it also doesn't have any fragrance. It's fragrance free. That's also one thing that I really like. And the main ingredients here are shea butter and triple oat complex. So oat is an ingredient that is really, really good and beneficial for dry skin. There are really a lot of moisturizers on the market and a lot of them have weird fragrances that I'm really not into or they simply don't moisturize as well. But uh, this one I really like. And the best way to use it is that after you take a shower especially a very hot shower and you dried yourself off with a towel immediately after that you should use this all over your body because that is when your skin absorbs the moisturizer the best so as a result of using this I rarely felt that I had dry skin in the winter but I also noticed that once I stopped using this then my skin would become drier and felt a bit itchy and was really not a nice feeling so personally, I only use this as a body lotion, but my husband, because of course, as a guy, he doesn't care that much. He also uses it on his face and that's totally fine. I mean, even though a product says that it's a body lotion, it doesn't mean that you can't use it on your face, especially, I mean, the, the ingredients are pretty much basic. And price wise, I think this is also pretty affordable. It's 532 milliliters and the price ranges around 10 to 12 dollars and I usually get it either at uh, on Amazon or at Walmart um, sometimes at shoppers so I just check out the prices and see depending where there's a discount sometimes I get it here sometimes there but lately I've been buying a lot of my stuff on Amazon and I've been using subscriptions monthly subscriptions um, that can save you a lot of money but I'll get to that later so now let's go on to the next product the next product is a facial moisturizer and this one is also from Avino and I don't have the physical product yet. I haven't bought it yet this year but I will soon simply because I just don't feel that I needed it yet but now as temperatures are starting to drop below 10 I feel that I should get one soon. So instead I'm going to show you what I'm talking about on the Amazon.ca uh, website. So the name of the product is uh, the Avino Night Cream cream positively radiant overnight hydrating facial mask moisturizer I know the name is so intimidating and honestly I can never remember what the name of the product is but when I see the packaging I I just know okay it's that one and honestly I don't really care about what the name of the product says because you guys know the way that marketing works it's basically done to attract the customers to buy the product but in the end you just need to look at the ingredients and try it out for yourself and see what it actually does right so here this product says Avino night cream uh, and that it's a hydrating facial mask moisturizer so I don't think that that has any relevancy if it's a mask or not and even though it says night cream I personally use it at any time during the day especially when I go outside and this is the reason why I really like this product and I have used it during every winter it's because it has a very um, it has a light consistency uh, but it's very thick so it moisturizes very well but it also absorbs very well so it kind of sits light on your skin I feel it, it doesn't give you that um, heavy or like oily feeling and when I use this and I go out during the winter time especially when it's freezing cold like around minus 10 degrees or minus 20 degrees I feel that this really gives me a protective outer layer on my skin and I can really tell the difference if I go out 
in the very cold winter without any moisturizer on my face I can really feel that the cold gets to my skin the frost gets to my skin but if I use this I feel that my skin is very protected so usually I use this Aveeno product like I said every time when I go outside when it's really cold and I also do use it as a night cream like it was intended for Aveeno night cream so um, during the winters I use it at night and when I wake up in the morning I really feel that my skin feels kind of soft and supple so I'm really really happy with this product and I also think that it's quite affordable it costs around um, anywhere between 16 to uh, $20 $17 here on Amazon so depending on where you buy it at and it lasts me around a month so during the winter time I go through around four to five jars of this and here again both I and my husband use this same product he also likes to use this and I think the main reason is because it also doesn't have any fragrance now let's go on to the last product here so with all of the previous products it was usually um, I the one who was purchasing the products and then my husband would just hop on and just use whatever I had um, in the bathroom and use the same thing right but um, one day when we went to winners he actually bought this moisturizer here it's called bulldog can you see this bulldog skincare for men sounds very manly uh, sensitive moisturizer and it's for the face and the main ingredients are oat willow herb and baobab Okay, I'm not really sure what those are, but what I also really like about this product is that the ingredients are natural and that it uh, doesn't have a fragrance. Um, yeah, by the way, when I say natural, I, I just mean that it, it doesn't have too many ingredients uh, compared to most commercial products. I mean, in the end, nothing nowadays is completely natural, and I also don't think that um, cosmetics do have to be completely natural. But anyway, this is the product that he bought and I ended up using it too because it was actually quite good. So don't be fooled by what the companies, the products tell you um, it's for or who it's for, even though it says skincare by men, but as it doesn't have any particular fragrance and it's just a simple plain moisturizer, anyone or even the whole family can use it. And that's what I like about all these products that I talked about these are basically family products you can just buy them uh, in bulk buy them when they're cheap and everyone in the family can use them and uh, in terms of fragrance I'm not really a fragrance person but if I do use any fragrance I just like to add like a tiny bit of fragrance on top so for example I use that Aveeno body lotion moisturizer and if I want like some particular uh, fragrance I just buy some other moisturizer that has a fragrance that I like like just a small bottle and then just I just pat a bit on top of it so I don't get this overwhelming um, smell or fragrance all over my body and I'm sure if you ever had that experience you know exactly what I mean when you step into a bus or into a store and then there's this person next to you that has this very very strong fragrance oh and by the way uh the price of this is also very affordable it's around 11 dollars when you buy it on amazon so most beauty products that i buy lately are around that price they range between um, anywhere between five to twenty dollars lately i've not been buying any cosmetics or mm, beauty products that are fifty dollars and above back then when i was younger when i was in my first job and in university actually that was a time when i would spend much more money on cosmetics and skincare products but um, now i just realized that it's not that worth it to me anymore while you can get um, better quality products at a certain higher price level but the effect that it ultimately has on your skin and everything is, is not just a function of, of, of the brand or of the um, price range that it's in, but how healthy your skin can be is also a result of how you apply and how you use these products. Just a short note on when it's a good time to start using these products. So um, I, I, I will never use the, these in the summer or in the early fall because it's simply still too warm. So I think a very good time to start buying these kind of products is around 
earliest late October or around November so pretty soon and I would be using these products until around March or maybe early April and then I would slowly phase them out and buy different kind of skincare products that are much much lighter and another quick tip before I end this video is um, I like to buy items, products that I use on a regular basis on Amazon. And I like to use the subscription option there. So Amazon has this subscription service where you can subscribe to certain products and you can choose how often you want to have them delivered to you. So for example, I can have this, I actually have this deli delivered to me every, I think one month or five weeks. By subscribing, you basically get a 5% discount. And if you order a certain number of products within one subscription, I think it's five products. So you can combine that with, let's say detergent and uh, dishwashing soap and other stuff. So if you have five of those products and you get them delivered on the same day, then you get additional 15% off. So that was it for today's video i hope that this tip was useful and that you'll try it out and tell me what you think about these products i've put the link to the products in the descriptions below so you can just click on that link and uh, make sure that you actually get to the right product thank you so much for watching and by the way if you have any questions suggestions for future videos uh, make sure that you drop them in the comments below and maybe i'll make a video on that thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day